Okay, I believe I'm recording. Uh, today I'm going to be coloring uh, at least on video one or two sketch cards. Uh, these are actually Mystery Science Theater 3000 uh, officially licensed sketch cards. Cannot tell you how excited I am to work on that. I have been a lifelong Mystery Science Theater 3000 fan. Uh, well, I mean, since I was about 12, 11 or 12. I saw the movie first. I want to say it was on Showtime or something. Uh, and then I discovered the Sci Fi Channel era. And for a long time, that was the. That was the only mystery science theater that I knew was the sci-fi era. I still stand by it. Uh, it's the era I grew up with, so I know it has its uh, critics. I know there are people who don't care for many aspects of the sci-fi channel era. I love it. I love Bobo. I love Brain Guy. And I love Pearl. And I don't care who knows it. But really, I'm so forget. I, I just love all of Mystery Science Theater so much. I'm not like, oh yes, I have to have, you know, this host and only these episodes. I just love it. I love all of it a whole lot. It fulfills a niche in my heart uh, that nothing else does in the same way. So I'm coloring uh, an inked drawing of Trumpy. From the film pod people. That's not like its original name. I believe it was Spanish. I don't remember its original name. But as presented on Mystery Science Theater, it was pod people. So that's what I call. What always confused me, because I got the rhino tapes uh, when I was a kid. I didn't see this stuff live. I guess I just explained. Um, when I got the Rhino tapes when I was a kid, and I never understood why there was just a completely different movie at the beginning of Pod People. I had no idea what that was about. Well, as most of us know now, it was Galaxy Invader. Why is Galaxy Invader in Pod People? I don't understand it. Uh, Galaxy Invader is by far the superior movie. I don't think that's controversial. Maybe it is. Depends on what you're wanting out of your movie, I guess. Um, anyway, as with most of my videos, I feel like I have to fill up every second with noise coming out of my face. I'm trying to find the right color. Uh, this is just like a, a base color. I want to add something on top of it. Trumpy's head is very orangish in a lot of these... Uh, stills from the film so I kind of wanted to go for that uh, Trumpy's creepy is that a pretty standard consensus among fans I hate Trumpy he's gross and creepy and like I can't, I don't know I guess I know I can see what they're going for he kind of looks like a goofy cartoon alien but like why is he so lumpy He's not as upsetting as Mac from Mac and Me. Mac and Me is a horrifying space goblin. And I hate him a lot. But Trumpy, he's up there. They're up there. I don't know. Uh, Trumpy's gross. So I accentuated that, but only just a little bit, by giving him some gross drool hanging out of his face. Uh, I guess that's the... Uh, 90s gross out cartoon part of my artistic and heritage coming out here I guess <laughs> influence I should say uh, but I think drooly monsters are funny oh look at that he's so gross he looks like he has his bald gross head okay I'm happy with it alright I'm going to try to make this video about 10 minutes I don't know if I can get it done in 10 minutes, I do know that I can drop all of my things within that time. Just try me. I don't like that color. It's okay. We're going to cover it up. Also, we have Bob here to imbue my card with slack. So, 
Thanks, Bob. Praise Bob. Um, let's see. It's so dark. I don't like it. I keep bumping the tripod. I'm sorry about that. It's probably very annoying. I'm going to post this video in the uh, Facebook group. The Mystery Science Theater 3000 uh, trading card Facebook group. Um, but this is for a card company uh, called RR Parks. Uh, I just I discovered them because Facebook recommended uh, another sketch card artist to me, and they had RR Parks as one of the people they work for. And I'm like, well, I guess I'll check this out because I've done work for uh, Upper Deck and Marvel and Monster Wax. And so I'm like, I feel like that gives me a pretty good portfolio, at least to, to start with for doing sketch cards. Um, so I looked up R.R. Barks, I saw Ultraman, and I'm like, uh, I, I don't care anything else they do, I'm here for the Ultraman. So I sent him an email, and then uh, Richard got back to me and said, hey, want to do Mystery Science Theater? And I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah, I want to do that. So no Ultraman yet, but maybe one day, who knows? That'd be great. I love Ultraman. I love Kaiju. You know, I suppose most of us do. That's why we're here. Okay, uh, I'm going to go ahead and go back over this. Look at this. Very brown. I feel like there needs to be something else in it. Open my coverings up so do this. Basically looking through the camera to see what I'm doing here. There's gonna be a lot of warm colors in the foreground, so I'll probably use a blue or something in the background. And as I draw this I have that stupid music from when Trumpy does magic things going through my head, so if I sing it out loud, I apologize in advance. <laughs> stupid Trumpy. I love that episode so much, though. Pod People is one of my favorite episodes. I think it's uh, the second Joel episode I saw, the first one being Mitchell. I guess it is kind of funny that the first Joel episode I watched was his last one. Uh, then I got Pod People, and I loved Pod People, because it's just weird alien nonsense. Like, it's too unsettling to be, like, real whimsical and real, like, little kid fare, like an E.T. ripoff would, should be. Uh, because it's just like, I don't know, there's, there's something off about the whole film. I guess I'm preaching to the choir about this. If anybody watches this who's not familiar with the film, maybe they'll get some edification. But I just, it's just so weird. I don't understand. Um, I wish they'd done more with Evil Trumpy in the movie. I remember thinking that was definitely underused. Because, like, they should have fought. <laughs> Evil Trumpy... And good Trumpy should have had a fight. Should have had a fight with their you can do stupid things powers. Uh, <laughs> maybe that's maybe that's just me. In fact, I deeply suspect that that's just me. It's my creepy Trumpy eye noise. Yeah, because it's like Spanish and like all the dialogue is dubbed, it's like a, it's like a, if Lucio Fulci made a children's film. <laughs> Maybe that's part of why it's so upsetting to me, I don't know. There's not any eyeball mutilation happening, so it's 
definitely not a Lucio Fulci. Oop, I just covered up everything. Oh, you know what? I kind of like that color. I think I'm going to use that as some highlights here. This is going to go a little longer than 10 minutes, I expect. It'll probably be closer to 15 or 20. Um, but I used uh, one of these to ink this. It's G nib. I need a new one. This one's getting dull. I've had it for a while. And I used Sumi ink. Uh, I've got some particularly old Sumi ink that's nice and thick. Uh, I don't water it down or anything. I draw comic books. That's like the main thing I'm trying to do. I've had some stuff published through Caliber Comics. Uh, I did For them I did an adaptation of Shadow Over Innsmouth. Uh, written by Steve Philip Jones, based on the H.P. Lovecraft story. We did a comic book adaptation of that for Caliber Comics. I've done three uh, Legends of Log stories for Alterna Comics. And i got some stuff in the works right now. Hopefully that'll lead places. But I love, I love drawing comics. I love doing sketch cards, too. Especially if it's something that I'm particularly interested in, like Mystery Science Theater. Um, I mean, I guess I haven't really done sketch cards for anything I didn't care about. So I'm concentrating now, so I'm not saying anything. Some of the people watching this are probably thinking, that's good, and that's okay. I understand that. Your opinion is valid. I'm going to get color on Bob's face, and that's okay. That's why I put him on here. That's how Bob's going to imbue this card with slack. And then whoever gets it will be like, man, I just have a lot of slack today. I feel good. I feel great. I'm going to quit my job, slack off, and praise Bob. <laughs> I guess I hope my cards don't make people quit their jobs. <laughs> oh, Lord. I am going to have to go through this with a paint marker and do some highlights. Um, the background's not done yet, either. I like that a lot. Alright. Like 13 minutes. I say this mostly for my own benefit. I don't want to rush it. I don't want to rush this card for the sake of the video. So if it goes long, it goes long. I suppose I can just start recording another one to finish it. You know what? I will do that. I'll stop at 15 minutes or thereabouts. I'm going to turn this into some curvy crap over here. Why not? That's the comic book influence, folks. It was just the comic book stopping. Oh, that's not bad. That's fine. I'll fix it. I'll fix it in post. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna slow this down here. Trumpet, you can do magic things. As upsetting as I find Trumpy, he's not actually as upsetting as E.T. himself. E.T. is gross. He looks like uh, just he's gross. He's lumpy and brown. I don't understand the appeal. And at the same time, it's a great movie. I love E.T. You know, I want to see that gross little creep go home <laughs> to his gross family. 
<laughs> I would take Trumpy over E.T., though. Yeah, I said it. What are you going to do about it? Uh, okay, thanks for watching. I'm going to take a little break here and finish this card up in the next video. Okay, bye.